if you look at the history of the church, there have been three, three items that have formed the backbone of the church's catechesis. That's just a fancy word for discipleship. Uh, the Apostles' Creed, the Lord's Prayer, and the Ten Commandments. You can look at many of the Reformation confessions or catechisms are based on those three things from a variety of different traditions. So for hundreds of years, if not thousands of years, Christians thought, what do we do to help kids and new Christians learn about the faith? And they instinctively went to those three things. We're going to teach the Apostles' Creed, we're going to teach the Lord's Prayer, and we're going to teach the Ten Commandments. So it's really embarrassing if in our day we think, oh, we don't, we don't need those things anymore, or we've come up with better ways. We absolutely ought to be teaching our children the Ten Commandments. They ought to memorize them. Uh, you may say, well, you know, rote memorization doesn't make for godly Christians. Well, it's a start. You want to hide the, the word in your heart. Of course, that's not the end goal to just recite them, but that's a starting place. So I think uh, Christian education programs, teachers in Christian schools, parents ought to be teaching kids at a young age uh, to memorize them. And then as you get older, you know, it's just sort of how classic education understood things. There's a time in your kid's life where they love, you know, they're sponges, they soak up, they, they want to memorize, they want to cram that stuff in. And sometimes we, we tend to do that when they're later, when they're teenagers. Well, that's that's really when it's not memorization that they need as much as, okay, what, why is this true? Why does this matter? What role does this play? So as long as we're helping our kids to understand the Ten Commandments are not God's ten rules so that God will love you. And here are ten things that you need to do every day so mommy and daddy will like you and God will love you. If we put it into the context of a response of gratitude to God, who sent his son for sinners like us, uh, a God who is our covenant God. These are the commandments that he's given us that we might live in joy and in peace with him and with one another. Then we shouldn't hesitate to, to remind each other. I, I do it often as a parent and reminding my children of one of the, the 10 commandments. Uh, we don't have to you know, reinvent anything. There's, there's 10 of them right there. We can all memorize them. We can help our kids understand that there are, there are rules, there are consequences for breaking those rules, and do it in the context of a gracious God who forgives us, who gives these to us, that we might be free people, and our, our children will be better for having known them.